Hello guys, welcome to Pep Coding. In this video, we are going to discuss a very interesting question where we are going to find subsets of an array. Let's try to understand what's in the question. So in this question, we are going to get an array. Let's say for this question, this is the array. The size is here three and we have to find the subsets of this array. Okay, before going that first, try to find how many subsets are possible for that what we can do we can do this 2 to the power size that is 3 so total 8 subsets are possible so let's see them one by one okay so the first subset is das 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 empty subset next could be this 20 das next could be das 20 30 next and the last could be 10 20 and 30 so let's give the number this is 0 first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so see here is total eight subset available okay now i'm going to write binary form of these numbers 0 to 7 so binary of 0 will be in three digits right 0 0 0 1 will be 0 0 1 and 2 will be 0 1 0 for 3 it is going to be 0 1 1 and 4 it is going to be 1 0 0 5 it is going to be 1 0 1 for 6 1 1 0 and 7 it is going to be 1 1 1 now if you will compare this and this you can easily observe that where is one only there we have put it some values and what values see this one is in zeroth index or in the last index last index right second index so whatever is present in the second index of the array we have put it here we have put here see let's see this line so here in the zeroth index there is one and the one first index there is one so what we have done here in the zeroth index we have put a zeroth value of the array and in the first we have put a 20 of course the first index of the array what is the value in the first index of the array okay so let's try to code this okay so let's do this increase the font size Cool. So first thing is to find the size. For that, what we are going to do? Int n array dot size. We have gotten the size now. Total subsets. How can we get this? By using power. Two to the power n. Now will be Let's remove this. We are going to from zero, we start from zero and we'll go to till ts. And for each number, we are going to ask the binary format. We'll define a vector of, let's name this binary integer. We will call a function decimal to binary and we will ask pass him value of d and we will pass him n so that he can give me an binary form of d in n size of array now our second task is going to be travel in this array so let's travel int i equals to zero I need to less than bin dot size i plus plus so check if bin of i is equals to equals to zero what we should do we should print yes right so let's print test and some space okay if there is not zero there will be one and for that what we are going to do we'll be printing 
what will be printing will be printing whatever in that index of the array right and after that we're going to put some space done and after printing for particular subset we are going to change the line let's change the line done change now yeah decimal to binary function let's define this this is going to return me a vector let's uh, name this decimal to binary in t int length is the length okay so first let's try to understand how can we get binary of a integer like decimal number let's say we have six and we want the binary format of this so what we'll be doing will be dividing this by two so three and reminder is zero again one and reminder is going to be one again zero and reminder is going to be one now write this in in this way so what we will be getting one one zero and this is the binary of six so if you look here what we have done here whatever we have gotten the first time the first reminder we have put it that in last index of the array this is the array we are going to return and the first time what we have gotten in the reminder we have put that in the last so what we will be doing the next time reminder the second last of the array and after that so on in this direction okay so let's try to code this first define a vector of int name this array define the size what size you want length size now what we'll be doing till d is greater than zero till d is greater than zero we are going to evaluate right first thing find reminder how by dividing or by taking modulo right by two and we have to put that in the last index so let's uh, define a variable idx of array dot of idx and initialize that with length minus one now whatever we have gotten here we will put that in idx index okay now second task is divide d by two now what we will be doing in the idx index we are going to put the value of value reminder and now decrease idx by one and finally terminating this while loop we are going to return array nice so this is all done let's try to run this see it is accepting okay now try to submit this All the test case has been passed thank you for watching hope you like the video if you like the video please like share subscribe and comment thank you